So we want to connect to our database as a service, cloud service instance. We can SSH into it using PuTTY on a Windows machine. So to do that, just go to the My Services console, database console, and you just need the public IP of the instance, which you can get here. And we're going to log in as the username Oracle, which doesn't have root access. If you want to perform patching or backups, you'll need the root access. So you'll need to log on, log in as OPC. But in this uh, connection, we're just going to log in as Oracle. So this diagram explains the process well. The first step is to generate and store the private and public key pair on your local machine and then create the database instance and then we need to take note of the IP address. And then we set up an SSH connection using the private key and that the, the instance checks that private key with the public key and the private key and it starts the session. So we'll just demonstrate that. So I'll just go back to our console and note the, the public IP and then we can just fire up putty. So then just launch putty on a Windows 8 machine this is so just go to the session. So we're going to log in as Oracle and then at the IP address then go to um, it's under connection SSH and auth and you just need to browse and upload the, the PPK SSH key. So it's the .ppk extension you want so just go to where you have it located on your local machine and then that's all we need then. Once we have that you can go back to session and then save it. Save the session if you want. So you can save it as Oracle DB or whatever you want. And now if we click on this, it should open up a command prompt. And there we are, we're in we're in the connected to our instance and we can do whatever admin task we want from here. So in the next video we'll show how to connect using SQL developer.